This video is brought to you by This is Adam Boys. Welcome to JunkieMonkeys.com. What's going on, y'all? Chris Kazama, PKZ, JunkieMonkeys.com. It's been a crazy-ass day. As you can see, the day's almost over with, but we just got the Sony press conference. We've been through a bunch of press conferences today. Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, all that good shit. And beside me, I have a bunch of my good friends. Right here, we got BG Broken Games. I've been knowing him for a long time on YouTube. On the left of me, I got Charles. He is from... The Game, the game Fanatics. Fanatics. I let him speak. I let him speak for themselves. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'm Charles. I'm, I'm from The Game Fanatics. I'm Will. You know me. I'm from Junkie Monkeys. My name's Alex. You know me. I'm from Junkie Monkeys. BG. <laughs> <laughs> BG. Broken Games HD. You already know who it is. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, all of that. Shameless plug. Marlon from GameAndRealm.com and Games and Warriors channel. Hit me up. I'm Erica from SheAttack.com. I want to shout out to all my girls back at home. Miss you guys. And I'm the last Junkie Monkey here, Kenny Cruz. <laughs> Remember, follow JunkieMonkeys.com. Air cuts for the win on YouTube, too. We're going to get into both press conferences, the big ones. Microsoft versus Sony. It's, it's, it's been fucking epic. So let's just go ahead and get down to it. Let's just ask the big question, Elf in the Room. Who won? Oh, man. You're going to put me first. <laughs> See, these people going to hate me, though. Uh, man. I'm gonna say this, all right. Microsoft was, I feel like they were more consistent. Like everything they showed, there was no like real low points. I would say Sony had, uh, you know, some more low points, but they also had more megatons. So they dropped more bombs, so it kind of evened it out. I'm gonna say it was a close tie. Uh, it, I'm gonna pass it on. I'm gonna have to think about who won. <sighs> all right, so, <sighs> man. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. It's 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 over. It's it's over. I mean, it's no competition. I mean, body bag. It's over. I mean, Sony versus Microsoft. I mean, Microsoft came out, you know, guns blazing. I mean, they did deliver, but Sony literally just shut all everything was done. When Sony showed off the first title, <sighs> I, I gotta pass it on, like, just... He's speechless. I'll tell you who won. The gamers won. <laughs> That's the safe answer. <laughs> we had an awesome day. We saw amazing games from all the conferences, so I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I would have to give the edge to Sony because everybody's been wanting Last Guardian. Horizon gameplay was amazing. That new Uncharted gameplay, oh my god. And I said Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? Ah, uh, I called it. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to save mine for last. Alright, Charles, go ahead. <laughs> uh, man, you know, it's crazy because sitting in both of those conferences, the audience, you could tell who won. I mean, there were more roars, more screams, more yells, more shouts, more standing ovations in Sony's press conference. And I think that tells the story of who won. I mean, you're looking at Sony delivering games that we've been waiting for for almost a decade. Like, you're talking about games that the gamers have been wanting. And then you show off, of course, your heavy hitters like the Uncharted. You show off Guerrilla Games' new IP. I mean, Sony definitely, both companies brought it, don't get me wrong, both companies definitely brought it, but Sony, I think Sony, like BG said, like Sony came out with more Megatons, man. I feel like Sony won, like, come on, we got Last Guardian, we got new fucking Batman gameplay, got new Battlefront gameplay, Shenmue 3, oh my god, No Man's Sky, you could actually use yeah. weapons, that was like the first time we've seen that, and then like... You see the freaking map in No Man's Sky, it's zooming yeah. out, it's zooming out, it keeps going, it keeps going. Yes. Endless. So, Endless. Endless. I don't know, while like both of them kind of had like some low, some low parts, I think Sony had some low parts that were like a little more kind of like meh. Yeah. Um, like I've never heard like a, a conference room like scream like that ever. Yeah. It was insane. I think the thing about Sony's press conference was that they could just say someone's coming on the stage and like give one adjective about the game and then the crowd would instantly just start cheering. They know they know exactly what it is. They know exactly what we're going to see. We're going to see some badass gameplay. Like when Guerrilla Games came out, we knew it. We knew it was Horizon and I didn't expect gameplay from it. So it it got to be close to done. So did they give a release date or release window for that? No no window at all. I think that's coming next year. Like so like 
yeah. around like November next year probably. I'm, I'm a little disappointed Last Guardian's not this year. Because when, when they when they show that gameplay that much, I thought it was, you know, ready. It was getting ready to come out. But, man. And Medium Molecules game. Oh, man. Man. Oh, Street Fighter. There's too much to talk about. Oh, also, I think people are going to sleep on the backwards compatibility because that completely destroys... Oh, was it PlayStation? Now? Yeah. That completely destroys it. And, man. But Sony, Sony got it. Sony got it. The thing about Microsoft versus Sony is I think this E3 was more of uh, we we're talking about a battle we're talking about features versus games because when we seen the Microsoft press conference we seen the games that we already knew were coming we seen the Tomb Raider we seen the Halo 5 you know they they announced a, a few new IPs but mostly we seen the things that we knew were coming and they kind of blew us away because like okay I didn't think this would look that good so and then they announced the backwards compatibility which all made us think well damn what's the use of PlayStation now because you could just play this on 360 on an Xbox one boom that's done Sony can't do anything to come back from that. But like I said, the thing about PlayStation and Sony is they knew what they were doing. I mean, we're talking about three back-to-back -back big games. We're talking about The Last Guardian, which has been delayed forever. We're talking about Shinmu 3, which people have been asking for for a very long time. Yeah. And then Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which we got trolled. What was Last that? Was, what, what was it? What was it? PlayStation Experience? They trolled us? Yep. And now we're actually getting the remake. That's nuts. Now, for Sony, they did have a bunch of med points. They had the, the PlayStation View or whatever, which I'm pretty sure nobody cares about. I mean, it's TV, right? The Disney Infinity stuff, I mean, I see where they're going with that. But, I mean, this is E3. We're, we're talking about all press, all gamers in the room. We want to see a battle. And, I mean, Disney Infinity is cool and all, but we want to see some, some big megaton bombs dropped. And we talk about bombs. Let me talk about PlayStation View real quick, because I was really skeptical about PlayStation View. But like working as a TV producer, I could tell you that PlayStation View is going to shake the industry up. Because you're talking about giving people, not just gamers at this point, because yeah, it's for the gamers, but giving people the option to choose, to pick and choose individual channels to subscribe to, that has not been done before. And that is that is the way the millennials want their stuff. I mean, we don't want, we don't need Discovery Channel if we don't want it. I mean, we don't want to be paying for it. So if you're giving us the ability, the option to pick and choose the package that we want based on the channels that we watch often, I mean, that's a no-brainer. If PlayStation, it, it, they already talked about how they're going to be rolling this out to all the other markets because it's in select markets right now. If that stuff rolls out and they market it right, I can see this being a game changer for the platform and the network in general and for TV watching and as a whole. You know, at first, like, I'm real skeptical about, skeptical about any of those, uh, you know, channel providers that all these different companies have I would never been interested until they told me until they announced a, a single subscription because me I don't watch a lot of TV the only there's only two things I watch on TV and they come on on Sunday and neither of them are on right now football and the walking dead mm -hmm. so the only channels I need what's the channel walking dead come on AMC, AMC. AMC yep. and the different football channels the only thing I ever need in my life and I'm good so if I'm able to do that with PlayStation view then that's what's up Definitely, PlayStation View is going. about the Hololens, real quick. Oh, the Hololens, the Hololens. Now that, now that was nuts. I mean, we're talking about Hololens, but they just, they just announced that. What was it GDC that they announced that at? Yeah. And we're seeing gameplay over today in Minecraft, and we heard about that, but we we actually seen gameplay where they have a example of a guy sitting at a table, blank, nothing on the table, and through the Hololens and through the different camera, we see how innovative it is playing with the Hololens in Minecraft. It, it's just nuts, like. Talk on that. Elaborate on that more. I can, I, I'm lost for words, man. Man, I mean, you pretty much said it. Like that. Put if we if we were to put that up, what we saw from the Hololens, with what we saw with the Morpheus, Sony's Morpheus. I mean, it's a clear winner. I mean, you're looking at full gameplay. Like the audience got to see not only what. I mean, we saw what was in front of us, which was nothing, and then we saw what the dude that was wearing the Hololens saw, which was everything, which was amazing, which was epic. So you're looking at, you know the leap forward that VR is bringing us into, which is which is cool, man. No, 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 I, I agree what you're saying. Uh, something to note about the, uh, what is it called, the HoloLens, mm -hmm. is that, um, like, a lot a lot of things that are shown on, on both conferences are 
kind of for for parents, you know, so you can see Disney Infinity. Your kid likes it. He's gonna, they're gonna pay for the PS4 version for like all the other shit, right? Um, then you look at the Hololens. What kid do you know that you know doesn't like Minecraft? Like right. every single kid likes it. Right. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's gimmicky. The whole thing, like of like opening it up or whatever, because. You know, kids are messy. Yeah. Like every single table is gonna be filled with toys or whatever, this and that. So it's unless you're like doing it on the ground, I could see that. Um, but I don't know. It's like that kind of like parental thing is like kind of split. I don't know. What would the mess be? There's nothing. Yeah, it would have to be a solid uh, table or surface for yeah. them to really yeah. get the full experience out of it. And hopefully it's just as seamless as it seems. And I'm about to pass it to Alex, but one thing I do want to touch on is PlayStation Morpheus. They did talk about that, but no price point, and this is coming out next year. Yeah. We heard no price, so yeah. Yeah, uh, I just want to speak on when Will said it was a gimmick. I want to, I don't remember the full quote from the Bethesda conference, but it's a badass fucking gimmick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, another thing is uh, Microsoft, well not Microsoft, sorry, Activision loves money. And this is con definitely confirmed. It's been confirmed in the past, but it's definitely confirmed now. Uh, we didn't see Call of Duty at the Xbox conference, but um, ironically, we've seen it at the PlayStation conference. And all DLC and map packs are now coming to PlayStation 4 first. <sighs> pass, pass it down to Erica and then Kenny, because we, we haven't heard much it's just funny how the roles have reversed. You know, Sony's the one with Call of Duty now. All the DLC exclusives and timed exclusives, and this is huge. Regardless how we feel about Call of Duty, it's huge. And this is big for Sony. I thought that was a huge bomb for them. Um, another thing I noticed besides that time stuff was like the first, first on PlayStation. Not just for uh, Black Ops, but it, it was also for other games too. So, you know, Money is everything, right? So, <laughs> more to come. It's, uh, yeah, more to come. So, we'll see who fights for what. Uh, yeah. Man. <laughs> I just, like, as far as the Morpheus goes and the, the hologram, like, I mean, they're both unique. To be honest, I mean, they're both going to do great things. They're very immersive. They're very over the top. Um, and I just feel like they're both neck and neck to me. But the Minecraft stuff, oh, man, that's on a whole nother level. That's a, <laughs> that, that's, that's, kids are going to be all over that stuff. And it's going to create a whole new market for Microsoft. But I just feel like everything that Sony showed today just let us know that they're all for us the gamers and what we've been wanting this whole time and they delivered I mean on all fronts yeah they had the little hiccup with Uncharted 4 playing it in the beginning but they're like nah it's not over yet we're gonna replay it again and that the scale of Uncharted 4 alone just blew my mind and the, the DLC thing with uh, Call of Duty I mean on PlayStation 4 I mean it felt really weird because Microsoft's been having that trend since the beginning, right? Yeah, 360. Yeah, the beginning of 360. So to see Sony shine on that part, I mean, that is really amazing. And it's going to put Sony on a pedestal. And Microsoft, they're going to have to step it up. They're going to have to just wow us even more with content and, and um, uh, what you call it, first, first um, exclusive, yeah time exclusives and stuff like that so i just feel like in my heart that this is the best e3 hands down so far and it's <laughs> tuesday's not even here yet day one is not even here yet and i mean it's sony sony it's over it's it's shout out to sony so i that's, i was speechless just a few things i want to highlight um first uh, with Uncharted, now I pay a lot of attention to detail. Now this was a big deal to me, nobody else probably noticed this, but during the scene where he was on cover and he was next to Sully, he went, he when he was uh, moving along cover, he went around Sully. 
Now, yeah. if you notice, if you play any third-person shooter, that does not happen. They do. Yeah. They don't make yeah. the animation for you to go around the character. You either get stuck, yeah, or the character gets like you just push them over. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. When I seen that, I was like, oh my god, that that attention to detail was crazy. And then with Horizon, oh. um, I, the the thing with Horizon that I was like surprised about is Guerrilla Games since its inception it's never made nothing besides a first person shooter yeah and this is this first game outside of one genre looks amazing. and it looks like they know what they're doing with this with this genre so I was like I was skeptical I thought you know they was like listen they don't know how to do nothing besides make first person shooters so I don't know how this game gonna look but they look like they professionals at like making this type of game so yeah, yeah that's crazy it's definitely going to be crazy between Sony and Microsoft. I think with the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, Xbox One is, is going to be moving a lot less from the exclusive ex exclusive deal this, exclusive map pack that. They're going to have to work on their biggest weakness, and we know what that is. That's the first party titles. They're going to have to bring that. And it's, it's going to have to be more than Gears. It's going to have to be more than Halo. It's going to be some new IPs, and that's what they got to work on. Sony, they got a nice little lead, but they got to keep, they got to keep the, momentum go the momentum going and just keep bringing the games man and just they know what everybody wants so that's what they got to keep doing so just to wrap this all up guys between both conferences what did you like the most favorite game favorite favorite anything about any conference oh, this is hard. go alex my favorite i think was horizon because i did not think that game was ready enough to show that much gameplay and it just looks beautiful it looks like it plays beautiful it looks like there's so much to do in that game but I also want to shout out to No Man's Sky because I was not hyped for that game at all. I was shutting down all the like people that were saying, "Yo, this game looks so awesome," because I thought that, oh, I thought it was just exploration. <laughs> but then at the end, he snuck in like all those things you can do that he'd even show off. Yeah, and everybody thought it would be in the ship the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna say uh, Battlefront because I've been waiting for this game for the longest freaking time. And Dice from the EA conference and the uh, PlayStation conference. They showed so much that's so true to Star Wars, uh, especially Hoth. Like that map looks very similar to the one that was in uh, Star Wars Battlefront, like the original. So they're staying true to the roots. They're making it so much better, and I'm 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 freaking hyped for that game. Man, I would say EA Sports hockey. Uh, no, but really, uh, I gotta say Uncharted 4, man. I mean, uh. Uncharted 4. Lots of fours, Mass Effect, yeah. but really Uncharted Four. I mean that yeah. that blew me away. Everything from, I mean, even if you're just looking at the superficial, just the graphics. I mean, mm. but like like you said, man, even every little at attention to detail, like the driving, yeah. all that. I mean, Yo. I had to say Uncharted Four is mine, man. I'm gonna have to say, uh, f it's gonna be between Final Fantasy VII Remake because after watching. Advent Children was been out for a long time just loving how that movie turned out and just seeing how this game is going to be 1080p and it's going to be so so freaking lush and just good I know they're going to kill it I can't wait for that but also Tomb Raider because when I seen that in Xbox conference I said okay yeah, they, yeah, they're, they're yeah. trying to take that crown back from Uncharted. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going on right now. And it's it's going to be a big battle because Uncharted comes out next year. We got uh, Tomb Raider coming at the end of the year for holiday season. It, it, yeah. Very potential game of the year. Yeah, yeah. Very potential game of the year. Yeah. But that demo really showed it. So Final Fantasy VII, Tomb Raider, yeah. Yeah, for uh, Microsoft, I got to say... Um, for t it's Tomb Raider for me. Um, you know, that was my game of the year, 2013. That's when it came out, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, for EA, uh, I gotta say, Yarning. I mean, yeah, it was, yeah the well, character name was Yarning. Uh, the game name was Unraveled. Unraveled. Oh, that was a good the, game. The concept of that game yeah. actually interests yeah. me a lot. It looks really good. It looks like a lighthearted limbo in they my eyes. They kind of put that Yoshi Yarn game. Yeah, it it kind of, yeah, yeah, they kind of killed it with that. Yeah. So. Ironically, yeah, that's the game I, 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 that you know impressed me the most at an EA conference at, of all things. Yeah. And Sony, uh, it was definitely Horizon. You know, I was really impressed with that. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> all right. It's all right, Wyland. Man, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. All right. I don't, I'm speechless right now, but. I'm gonna say this real quick. Tomb Raider for sure. I mean, that looks. I mean, the leap from from the from the the last one that came out to this one, giant leap. I mean, it looks really really good graphically, gameplay wise. Um, 
yeah so they're they're definitely coming for uncharted uh i want to say ea wise i have to say battlefront damn battlefront damn uh it looks so good like yes i, I enjoyed that um that was really really <laughs> that was really really good all right and for sony the last guardian i have to say the last guardian uh last guardian blew me away i've been waiting for gameplay on that forever and they finally finally delivered on that and yes those are my three all right for microsoft i gotta agree tomb raider looks gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um i gotta make mention of gears of war no one talked about gears of war i did not i did not expect that much gameplay so that was like a huge surprise for me um ea <laughs> Unravel. Unravel. Yeah. Beautiful game. I actually got a little emotional, a little teary eyed. It was gorgeous. Um, and of course, oh, Unravel. Know. Yeah. It just some, it hit me in the heart. I don't know. I just had, had these feelings for it. Um, yeah. And then Battlefront, of course. Oh, I can't wait to play that. And then for Sony, most impressive was definitely Horizon. I hadn't even really thought about that game, but it is. <laughs> Anita, keep your hands off that game. Leave it alone, right? <laughs> um, it looks amazing, and yeah, it was just awesome. All right, because I think it was like only choose one, right? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> go for it. We have Uncharted. We have Last Guardian, Battlefront. There's so, there's so many games. Gears, yeah. Gears Four. Um, but what I always wanted was Need for Speed and Final Fantasy VII. Mm. And because Need for Speed had like it brought me back to underground, yeah, so it sounded amazing. But I'm actually I wanted Final Fantasy 7 for so long, and I'm finally getting it. And it looks like Advent Children, and yeah. I can't wait to see the freaking summons yeah. oh in that God. freaking it's game. Like Bahamut, Bahamut, behold the majesty of Neo Baham, the Bahamble, Bumble, the Dragon. Neo Bahamut, oh my god! Ship yeah. oh. Oh, you, you, Exactly! Oh my gosh, there's so many things and you know, you get to play those mini games within the game, so... It's so many hours, so I'm gonna choose Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna wrap it up, man. We, we gotta thank all our special guests, Charles from the Game Fanatics, Broken Games from Broken Games, YouTube, Marlin, of course. We gotta thank uh, 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 Erica, and from her she attack, <laughs> Ken Dog, yeah, Will, my my mom, my two hombres, and, and Alex down there. You can check out all these guys in the description box, man. But you guys, let us know in the comments what you guys think about the two uh, conferences, and let us know what you thought was better, PlayStation or Microsoft, PlayStation or Xbox. There we go. All right, so we out. Say final goodbyes. Peace, y'all. We out. Shout out to my mama. Peace. Peace.